Welcome to Chilled Out Game Reviews, where I review my favourite games to unwind with. I would describe Kingdoms and Castles as a city builder meets tower defence game. The idea of the game is to build a thriving town full of happy citizens, and to keep everything from being destroyed by invading vikings and dragons. Now if this sounds a little more intense than most of the games I review here, just wait. Hear me out. You start out by placing your keep, a few farms and basic huts for your people to live in. To build more complex structures you'll need to collect resources from your environment. There aren't many different raw materials available, but there's a surprising number of ways to use each of them. You need wood to build pretty much everything, but you'll also burn through your supplies quickly to make charcoal, which multiple structures also need to function properly. You need to plan ahead and strategize, or you might suddenly find yourself without enough money to pay your archers, leaving you defenseless. Let's talk about the visuals briefly. I love low poly art styles, and this game is a really great example. The high contrast colours bring an element of cartoonish fun, and I really like that your citizens are just a few cubes hopping about. Sure, some objects end up clipping from time to time, but that really doesn't bother me. In fact, watching a dragon fly through a tall tower is rather amusing. Now I'm sure you're still wondering why I'm considering this a relaxing game when you're frequently having your progress hampered by waves of attackers. My reasoning is quite simple. The attacks don't do too much damage. They have more of an irritation, a little challenge to see how well you can fend them off. The Vikings will burn a few structures and grab a few citizens, and a dragon might light a few things on fire, but as long as you've built plenty of wells and towers, the impact will be minimal. However, if you do want to take the risk out, there is a game mode which turns invasions off. I'd recommend this mode for your first game anyway, just to familiarise yourself with everything. As a city builder, it's really well made, there's a lot of freedom in where you can build, you can even build out onto the water if you want to, and if there's a build height limit, I haven't reached it yet. This is one of the most addictive games I've played in a while, and it looks like the developers are still bringing out new features, so hopefully there's a lot of replayability left in this game. I really enjoyed watching my town expand, and I got a lot of satisfaction when I killed my first dragon. However, I can see how the constant threat of invasion isn't for everyone, so I have to give Kingdoms and Castles a chill out rating of 3 out of 5. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, then check out the playlist of previous Chilled Out Game reviews, or take a look at some of my other videos.